Now over the years, I've gone through many VPN services. I've tried using them for streaming, gaming, general browsing, and raw speed testing. And of all the VPNs I've reviewed, ExpressVPN and NordVPN always came out on top as the top two VPNs for just about any online activity. So today, I'll show you why these two are great and which one might be the best choice for you. Links to both Express and Nord can be found in the description below, including any discounts or special offers that I could find. Now for me, honestly, I've been using ExpressVPN for a while and it is my go-to VPN personally. So let's get through the features first and why I like Express. ExpressVPN's logging policy makes it very clear that they have a strict no logging and no connection logs policy in place and they disclose which information is kept about you, which is very minimal, and none of which can be used to identify or incriminate users in any way. Now, when connecting to a VPN, you're tunneling your traffic through the VPN server, which will slow down your speed, though a high quality VPN will minimize that decrease in speed. And that's exactly what Express does. Keep in mind that anything below a 20% decrease in speed is generally considered very good, and any decrease below 10% is considered excellent. So in this particular speed test, my initial download speed is at 11.47 megabits per second. I connected to a nearby server, which is Italy's Milan server, and that resulted in a 6.7% decrease in speed at 10.7 megabits per second. And to try out the connection with a much further server, I got an 18.1 decrease in speed at 9.39 megabits per second in the Los Angeles server. These are very good results and I will put them in contrast with Nord's results in just a bit. For streaming, Express works very well. Unlocking Netflix libraries has never been easier and quicker than with Express, as well as many other streaming services. Express is also completely unrestricted when it comes to torrenting across ExpressVPN's entire server network. There's no bandwidth limit on peer-to-peer -peer activity either. So there's no problem when it comes to torrenting securely with zero leaks and a dependable kill switch. One of the coolest features in ExpressVPN is the speed test feature, which saves me a lot of time when I need to find servers with the least bit of latency or highest download speeds, especially when I want to use a VPN for gaming. It saves me time of all the testing that I have to do. When it comes to security, ExpressVPN leaves no compromises in any way. By default, it uses AES 256-bit encryption in combination with the OpenVPN protocol, a 4096-bit RSA key, and SHA-512 HMAC authentication. In other words, it's the same level of encryption approved by banks and governments. On top of that, ExpressVPN supports split tunneling, which lets you decide which apps are protected via the VPN and which travel outside of it. Moreover, ExpressVPN runs its own private zero-knowledge DNS server, which means that the websites you visit are all encrypted by ExpressVPN. And in case you're in a country where VPN usage is restricted, Express will make your data look like normal browsing data through Express's obfuscation tools. Express operates in more than 3,000 servers across 160 locations in 94 countries. So you'll be able to connect to nearby servers no matter where you are in the world. And most of these servers support multiple protocols. And very recently, Express released a new protocol called Lightweight, which is supposed to boost the speeds even more. And it also connects to servers instantaneously compared to other protocols. Express also allows users to secure up to five devices with a single subscription. When it comes to pricing, they have a monthly subscription for 12.95, a six month plan that goes down to $9.99 a month and a 12 month plan that drops the price down to $8.32 a month. All plans have a 30 day money back guarantee with a 24 seven live chat support for any issues you might have. Check the link below for any special deals or discounts on Express. Now for my second choice for best VPN is NordVPN. As for Nord's logging policy and jurisdiction, in Nord's own words, they guarantee a strict no logs policy for NordVPN services, meaning the service is provided by an automated process and your activities while using it are not monitored, recorded, logged, stored, or passed to any third party. Now for the speed test, I tested the same regions as I did with Express for as precise of a comparison as possible. Now, just to remind you, I'll show you the test results for Express on screen before moving on to Nord's results so that you get an idea of the difference between the two. Now for Italy's Milan server, 
Nord gave me a 15.3% decrease in speed at 9.71 megabits per second and a 23% decrease at 8.74 megabits per second for LA server. Now these are still impressive speeds. You will find that most VPNs cannot in fact catch up with the consistency and speeds of NordVPN. Express however just manages to outperform just about every other VPN out there in terms of speed. For streaming and torrenting, there aren't necessarily any dedicated servers because Nord already makes it so that any server can handle such tasks. Though if you're looking for peer-to-peer -peer specialty servers, that's also an option. A trusty kill switch is also available in case you get disconnected from the VPN. Nord also reliably and quickly unlocks Netflix libraries as well as many other streaming services. Now getting into the security features of NordVPN, Nord does have a good variety of advanced options with top-of-the-line protocols like OpenVPN and ICAP2, and solid encryption like AES-256 and a bunch of other features such as the previously mentioned kill switch, as well as split tunneling, double VPN which encrypts your internet traffic twice at the cost of lower speeds, Onion over VPN for Tor users, and an ad blocker, which isn't a very common feature in VPNs, but it is a welcome one indeed. DNS leak protection, obfuscation tools, and the speed-boosted Nord Lynx protocol, which is built on top of the WireGuard protocol and is a great option if you're willing to prioritize speed over anything else. NordVPN has more than 5,000 servers in 59 countries. While 59 countries may not seem like a lot, there are in fact enough servers on the map that you will most certainly find a server that works well near you no matter where you are in the world. Nord allows users to secure up to six devices simultaneously with one subscription. Now cost-wise, Nord's monthly fee of 11.95 may be considered on the pricey side compared to other VPNs. So you can opt for the six month plan for $9 a month. However, the price drastically drops to 4.08 per month for the one year plan. I'd personally recommend the one year plan considering the significant price drop for such a good service. And of course, a 30-day money-back guarantee and a 24-7 live chat support are also available for NordVPN in case you have any issues. Again, links to special deals and discounts will be linked in the description. Both Express and Nord are excellent choices if you're looking for the highest quality of VPN services. Nord will provide you with extra security options for a great deal, while Express will give you that extra bit of speed at an increase in cost. So depending on your priorities and what you need, go ahead and feel free to take advantage of the special deals and discounts to both VPNs linked in the description below. A like would help let me know if you enjoyed the video and a subscribe will keep you up to date with future content. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.